Sometimes, weird is just weird. Weird phones are rarely an exception. But every now and then, a weird phone starts to make a little bit of sense. The ZTE Axon M might just be one of those phones. I'm Adam Dowd with Board at Work, and this is our full review of the ZTE Axon M. So the ZTE Axon M is a weird phone. The phone is a big brick of a phone with a screen on the front and a screen on the back. The rear screen folds out, making a sort of mini tablet. We'll talk about the second screen in a little bit, but first we need to get some basics out of the way. The ZTE Axon M is a sharp block of a phone that is not very comfortable to hold. It's probably the thickest, heaviest phone that you can buy at this price point, but that's entirely forgivable considering what the Axon M is trying to do. The phone is slippery, like really slippery, and because of its very nature, there isn't really a case that you can get for it. So make sure you set it down on a grippy surface, or at least stay off the tile or cement floors. The ZTE Axon M has been in development for years, so the specifications are not as beefy as we're used to today. There's a Snapdragon 821 processor, 64 gigabytes of onboard storage, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and a single 20 megapixel sensor that serves as both front and rear camera. More on that in a bit. All of this is powered by a 3,180 milliamp hour battery. Overall, the specifications are just fine. If you're a hardcore gamer, you might want to pass on this one, but for normal everyday use, this phone is just fine. It might be classified as a mid-ranger because of that processor, but only the most discerning geek is going to ding the phone for last year's flagship silicon. But let's talk about what we're here to talk about, shall we? There are two screens on this phone, one on the front and one on the back. A hinge allows the two screens to open up and become a sort of mini tablet. That is a mini tablet with a pretty big bezel running down the middle of it. Now don't get me wrong, all things considered, the bezel isn't that bad, but it can be hard to get past, especially when watching video. Because that is what ZTE wants you to do, as evidenced by the TV mode button included in the hardware. Press and hold this button to launch TV mode, and you can pick any media player as your TV app of choice. That alone signals that ZTE had media consumption in mind when it comes to this device. Some apps, like YouTube, work very nicely with the second screen. Putting the phone in landscape mode puts the video on top with the normal YouTube menu down below. Other apps like Netflix, well, let's just say they don't take advantage of the extended mode. In dual mode, you can run two full screens simultaneously. This is so much better than multitasking found in a single screen Android device. Having the entirety of two screens allows you to multitask like a pro. But here too, there are some software difficulties. Clash Royale, for instance, needs to be the active screen or it just simply suspends, even though you can see it. Now, none of this is ZTE's fault, and it's not really the fault of the app developers either. This is simply uncharted territory, or at least not very frequently charted territory. This is, for all intents and purposes, a completely different paradigm than the Android world is used to. And to be perfectly frank, it's pretty awesome. This entire review script was written on the ZTE Axon M and a Bluetooth keyboard. This could very easily be our new writing setup when out and about. This phone almost completely eliminates the need for a tablet. It's not perfect, though. Having all the buttons on the left side of the device is a questionable choice. 90% of the world will have to adjust to this phone, but I guess we're striking a victory for the southpaws of the world. It would be next level to allow the user to choose which screen is the primary screen. That would almost completely alleviate this problem. Also, the flashlight is migraine-inducing. The flash of the camera is located on the front of the phone, as we mentioned before. When you want to turn on the camera, you're prompted to turn the phone around. But when you want to turn on the flashlight, there's no prompt. Just the instant searing fire of the gods boring into your eye sockets. It's not our favorite. And what about that battery life, huh? Well, it's perfectly acceptable. We were nervous at first about using the second screen and sucking down the extra juice because of it, but it's not a problem. On a typical day, we had roughly 20 to 30% left in the tank. That was, quite frankly, surprising. Even with liberal use of the second screen for video watching or mirror mode, we had to try to wear this battery down. Now, Android doesn't specify which screens account for screen on time, so it's hard to make a call, but we suspect it's both screens. Either way, we averaged over three hours pushing four hours with some battery left over. This is a delightful surprise. However, the camera is, well, it's less than ideal. 
Color reproduction is pretty accurate, but that's where the fun stops. Focus and sharpness, especially on macro shots, are frankly awful. A good shot is possible in good lighting when your subject is not a living thing, but that's pretty much the extent of it. The video camera also supports a 1 8 speed super slow motion, making back handsprings really fun to watch. Overall, this is a good phone with a neat trick up its sleeve. It's great to see an OEMs trying something different from the rest of the pack, but what's really refreshing is seeing it done very well. The camera is disappointing. And from a dual screen implementation standpoint, there are flaws, make no mistake. But for a 1.0 product out of the gate, these flaws are easy to correct, assuming there's a 2.0 product, and we sincerely hope that there will be. That's going to do it for our full review of the ZTE Axon M. If you like this video, hit it up with some thumb love. And leave a comment down below. Is there a dual screen in your future? Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell icon to make sure you get notified every time a new video hits the airwaves. Once again, I'm Adam Dowd, Dead Technology on Twitter, reminding you to always enjoy your dual screened entertainment. Thank <laughs> you.